Jenny Hall here for Honey Bee Stamps. Today I would like to show, share a gatefold design card with a belly band. I'm going to be stamping with the Everything Wonderful stamps and dies from Honey Bee Stamps. Here is my design for the gatefold card. It has a flap on the left and the right that folds open and then a belly band that will go over once it's all finished and designed and this will help keep those left and right flaps closed. I've listed out all of the measurements on screen and will be sure to put them also in the video description. One tip on creating a fancy fold is I like to make sure that I burnish the card fold in both directions and that will help it to move more freely. I'm going to stamp this beautiful floral image on some Arches watercolor paper. I'm using Arches because it is a very great paper and it will hold a lot of fluid. That means that I can blend colors on top of the paper and not worry about it scraping off or, or having any problems at all. Now to do the stamping, I've placed the watercolor paper in the original Misty and on the left side, I am stamping part of the image. And on the right side of the paper, I did the opposite. So this is going to allow me to have a straight edge on the left side of the floral image. And that will go onto the left folding gate of the card base. And then the same goes on the right hand side. The placement on the paper does not need to be precise because I'm going to use the coordinating die in order to crop the image. And if there's a little too much flower image than what the side fold of the card is, then I can just trim it away with no problem. I'm going to be using these beautiful Karin Brush Marker Pro pens in order to do the coloring today for the image. And I like to add the colors directly to the watercolor paper and then use a wet brush to just move them around a little bit and help those colors swirl and blend together, but still maintain some of the properties of where they are. I like to see a very unique look with watercolor. Sometimes it's great to have things have a perfect blend, but it's also beautiful in nature whenever colors don't match up exactly and they don't fade from dark to light in a very symmetrical way. So this is one way that I just kind of look at things and and say, wow, you know, this really looks like something I can see outside in my yard or a garden. Now, there's different ways to use the Brush Marker Pro, and you saw that I have added two colors down to the paper directly and then mixed them around with a wet brush. But another way that I really like to use these and get a different kind of a tone is to scribble them onto my work surface or onto a clear block and then pick them up with my wet brush. I like to use a clear block a lot of times because I can't see it on my work surface being as it's a dark work surface. But if I scribble it onto that block, then I can usually tell if I've still got some color left and I can mix the colors. I've put the pink and the purple together here on the clear block and I can just mix around and grab one color or then the other and it turns out so beautiful. The wonderful thing about the Karin markers is that they are very vibrant and they blend together perfectly. They are so like it's so like a giant punch of color. And the idea for this card was going to be a gatefold card with a belly band. And when I started choosing the colors, that's when I thought, wow, if, if this is paired with a black card base, then those amazing marker colors are just going to fly off of the paper. And they are, they're just, it, they're so beautiful. I want to also mention that they are carried in the honeybee shops. 
So if you haven't tried the Karin markers and you want to pick up a couple to try for yourself to see if you like them, then Honeybee sells them individually and you're not committed to a giant package all at one time. To get some sparkle on the card, I have taken some perfect pearls and diluted it and splattered it on as well as some white acrylic paint and that's going to give me something that kind of looks like dew drops or sunspots something that is going to break up some of that color and just give a little bit of variance now to use that coordinating die and you can see here that it crops away perfectly it gives me a very straight edge that I can just glue down to the edge of the paper here and that's it it works so easy I did have to trim away just a little bit of one of the florals because when I stamped it I got a little too much of the stamp on the paper but it was no trouble to just cut a, a little bit like maybe an eighth of an inch so that it would be a little bit more um, symmetrical from the left side to the right side. Now I'm going to add some sunlight sequins from the Honey Bee store with my Marvie Jewel Picker and then they're going to be placed around in different areas and keeping in mind that I'm going to use that belly band to push off and on. I wanted to use some sequins that would be more flat instead of rhinestones. To make the sentiment on the belly band, I first added a few score lines and uh, want to remind you the score lines are going to be listed in the video description. And then I did some embossing in white. And then we'll use some score tape to kind of make the overlap of those two flaps have a really nice contact point. And score tape usually is my strongest adhesive and it works really great for making sure that it's never going to come apart <laughs> so i'm going to add those exact same sequins but i'm going to make sure to stagger them around and keeping in mind where the sequins were pl were placed on the card base because i don't want there to be a card uh, a sequin on top of another sequin for the inside of the card, because it is a special fold, I thought it would be really nice to take a just a white piece of, of paper, this is Nina 80 pound, and add the image in black and white and leave enough room for me to write a special, special message on the inside. And it's a nice contrast to the front of the card, being as the front of the card has so much color then this is just a nice neutral area where the eyes can rest and just enjoy the rest of the project. So once the flaps are closed and the belly band is in place, then it's a very flat card. It doesn't have much more dimension than a standard side fold or top fold card. I hope you've enjoyed this project and we would love to interact with you more on social media.